Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to answer the question imposed in previous lecture for semantic analysis. Welcome again, and uh, the here. Uh, the next part is how to answer this question so we have already uh, imposed some question and in this section we are going to talk about that how we are going to answer this question so uh, these issues are part of semantic which uh, uh, semantic analysis phase and answer to this question depends on the various value like type information number of parameter etc okay so as i told you that i need the type information or the number of parameter etc compiler we have to do some computation so here the compiler need to perform some computation to arrive at this answer so I, as i was saying earlier that it has to perform some computation there is some level some type of computation required okay so <clears throat> Uh, in order to answer this uh, this previous question the compiler have to keep track information about the type of variable few things it has to keep track and among them the first thing is the there's the it has to keep track of the type of the variable uh, number of parameter in a particular function etc and it will have to do some sort of uh, computation okay so as the statement as i said earlier in order to gain this information so something has to be you know done or gain to 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 perform this uh, to gain this information most compiler keep a structure called symbol table okay so that i told you in the beginning symbol table to store this information and at times the information required uh, is not available locally and uh, but in different scope together altogether so sometime you you may need to, to require to access uh, other other places or other let's say function to get the information uh, related so not available locally means that uh, a different scope and it can be a different uh, different scope means it can be a different function altogether okay so the the question is we have to perform some that that is the challenge that we need to perform some computation and uh, the only thing is that uh, how how we are going to do this thing okay so there are few uh, solutions are there related with this that uh, one is your context sensitive grammar okay so that that is one of the solution that uh, context sensitive grammar or extended attributed grammar okay now this is the new term extended attributed grammar okay a uh, symbol table uh, is a way to store all the information you can compute and store and something in between that uh, that uses attribute and do analysis along the parsing use the code and attribute for the value of computation okay but in a systematic way so now uh, something in between that is uh, that is you uh, we will use now attributed grammar attributed grammar uh, now you generally general term is arrive here what exactly an attribute okay so what is an attribute so suppose i give you an object okay uh, i'll give you object let's say i'll give you a table okay so now there is some characteristics are there which defines this table okay the length okay length is an attribute of the table the weight is an attribute of the table the height okay yeah, height can be an attribute of the table the color can be the attribute detail so attribute that will define a uh, it depends upon the object okay it depends upon the object and it define its few characteristic okay so that basically is called an attribute now to explain you the you know this i have I have already spoke uh, means previous in this session i spoke uh, talk about this uh, this technical terms okay technical terms now here i'll give you one informal um, informal let's say informal way of uh, okay informal way of uh, you know uh, understanding this particular topic and suppose uh, i'll say baby is crying okay now this is the statement that uh, baby is crying okay so now 
here what syntax analysis analysis phase does is it only find out whether uh, this baby is crying is a correct sentence or not okay correct uh, correct statement or not correct string or not it's a correct statement or not now what i am more interested here in this case is is understanding a meaning and what is the meaning is that there is a small child there is a small child and that child is in is 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 having some issue or is is crying let's say the same statement there's a crying so i know that is a baby baby will have a you know she's a small the age the year male or female that can be the attribute and crying is also carrying some meaning that she needs something she is in she is she is hungry or something like that okay so now one thing is uh, is is carrying out that uh, is statement correct or not and figuring out the meaning okay meaning of that sentence is basically the semantic analysis okay so that is a semantic analysis so you want to find out the meaning associated with it and for that i need to know this uh, what are the only what is the characteristic or attribute attribute of baby what are the characteristic and attributes of crying i should know the meaning of a baby and i should know the meaning of a crying so that i can you know finally say that okay there is a small you know human being and that she is uh, she is hungry or something that she is crying okay so that is the complete idea of what of uh, of this uh, semantic analysis okay so we have set up the foundation and here what we'll use here is uh, we will use something in between that we'll use attributes and uh, you will uh, use code for the attribute value computation okay so we'll both use both okay so that's all for this session thank you